Hey guys, it's Kitty Cat Loom here and today is a super, super exciting video because I'm going to be doing a full-on Rainbow Loom Collection 2021. But before we get on, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to become a part of the hashtag Luma Squad. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get on to the collection. Happy tea bag. Another happy cookie, but this is kind of like a space cookie. Happy Easter egg. Happy Jello, and this one, a fun fact, can actually glow in the dark. Happy Blackberries, I actually haven't done a tutorial on this, but um, this is my original design. Happy Waffle, Happy Tomato. Sorry guys, I just wanted to stop the video here um, just to say that I have a new channel. So starting 2021, I have the New Year's resolution to make a new YouTube channel. Um, definitely go check it out, it's called teen talk and it's basically an inspiration channel so if you want to get motivated and super inspired make sure you go subscribe i'll link it up in the icard right there and also in the description thanks for your support it means the world i love you guys and let's just get back to the video even to this day i have yet to finish this half a drumstick a mini happy meatball happy popcorn happy lemon happy lollipop Another happy M&M, two happy olives, which is so, so cute. I love them both so much. I have another happy noodle, which is a baby one. Happy beetroot, and I always say this, but they have such cool leaves. I love them so much. I have this skinny squash, because usually squashes are like really, um, you know, compressed, but this one's a skinny one. I have another happy mint, my original design. Happy space soda. Um, some Macca's chips, but all the chips are like missing in my collection box. Another happy spring onion. My happy um, hot dog in a cute little bun. A happy pear. This is actually um, an M&M, but it's the peanut M&M. Um, if you guys know what I mean, I'll have a picture right here with what I mean, but it's kind of like a skinny M&M with a little nut in the middle, so... I just kind of made this one like that. I have candy in a wrapper, but um, at the moment they're not in the wrapper. But this is what it looks like when it's in. Ta-da! Happy Gobstopper. This is one of my original designs, but I haven't made a tutorial on it. Um, comment down below if you want any tutorials um, of my new designs. But yeah, there's this Gobstopper. Happy Dango on a stick. And speaking of dangos, I actually have my own huge dango, which is well known um, across my channel. And I've actually made three of them, so I have literally so, so many. Here are all my happy dangos, and these are the big ones. Then also you guys requested a mini dango tutorial, so there's this cute little guy. And these are basically the two dangos. And I also have another mini happy dango. Here I have three happy candy canes. I have a cherry tomato and he seems pretty happy. One of my first creations um, which is the happy marshmallow and if you are beginning happy foods I really recommend making this one. Happy fairy floss. I have a really tiny meatball which is like literally so tiny. Um, I totally forgot I had this in my collection. Happy chili. Happy eggplant. The remnants of my grape. Um, I kind of um accidentally left these out and they kind of um, started to break so this is kind of what's left of my grapes. Happy peas in a pod and I actually did make a really cool stop motion video with this so if you want go click up there to see my cute little fun and really quick stop motion it's super super cool. I have this happy um, saltwater taffy and I actually have another one of those. Nearing the end to um, my happy food collection, I have this um, little kind of candy I made randomly. A happy blueberry. A squashed marshmallow, which is like super funny. And lastly, two singular grapes. So now we can move on to my happy thing. Here I have the happy octopus. The happy rainbow. The happy wreath. The happy Hello Kitty, which is super cute. The Happy Banana Peel. My own original design, um, the Happy Water Droplet. Again, it's in the iCard if you guys want to go make this cute little guy. I randomly made this Happy Pillow or Happy Sleeping Bag, which is kind of cute. 
I have another happy water droplet. I have a happy ghost, which is also um, irreversible. And I made this like way, way back and it's kind of bringing back memories. These are again my original designs, they're happy octopuses and I'll have the link up there if you guys want to make these cute little guys. They're literally so, so cute and I love them so much. Next I have a super cute um, tortoise with a cute little white bow. I have a happy pencil and this super cute hat that I made. And also speaking of dangos, I have another dango which is kind of like more of a circular dango um, compared to my other ones. Um, but this is super cute and it's super round and squishy and adorable. I also have another octopus which is kind of like a space octopus because it's like super cute colours. Um, but yeah, this is super super cute. Here I have a happy umbrella, which is adorable. Here I have the happy minion. Next up I also have this adorable little llama. And the last thing in my happy things collection will be this adorable little mushroom. Now with that we can finally move on to my Lumigroomy collection. First up I have these two Pokeballs. This is such a bad one. It was my first ever Lumigroomy creation. But this one is a lot better and it's basically, yeah, just a happy Pokeball. Next up I have my Lumigroomy um, Kermit the Frog and he is just adorable. I love him so much. Next up I have the Lumigroomy Seal um, but its face kind of got a little bit dry and it ended up um, snapping off. So I have the Lumigroomy um, Seahorse and its little fins ended up getting ripped off by my cat so um, <laughs> sorry little guy. Next I have the Lumigroomy Bird and I do have a tutorial on this one because it's an original design again and it's linked up there if you guys want to make it. I really recommend, especially if you're a beginner Lumigroomy. And I also have two others. This was the one I made in the tutorial and this is the first one when I was drafting the process. I have my Lumigroomy bracelets which are super cool and it's super unique. Um, I do have a tutorial on this because it's my original design. I seem to really like hats so I have this Lumigroomy hat right here which is really cute. A Lumigroomy Peak, a Lumigroomy Dash Hound, a Lumigroomy Yellow Ball, I have no idea why I made this but here it is. A Lumigroomy Cat with no face, sadly. And next I have some Lumigroomy Circles which I made for like Lumigroomy um, practice videos and um, beginner tutorials so there's just these little circles. And that is it for my Lumigroomy collection so now let's move on to my craft life. I have this cupcake with huge googly eyes, this really stretchy headband, a happy owl, another happy owl, a super cute happy penguin, this really pretty purse, happy penguin, I seem to really love penguins, and last but not least I have this little poodle. Now finally with that done we can move on to some charms. So I have this little penguin head, this Mickey Mouse um, figurine, a cute little owl, a really bizarre giraffe animal, a horse charm, a really weird Christmas tree I made, a really cool crocodile, a super cute little um, watermelon, this little strawberry, a random leaf, these two little mustaches, a little baby which kind of looks like E.T., a really cute um, little guinea pig which is adorable, a turtle with a kaleidoscope shell, a multicolored um, owl charm, a little minion, Two little bouncy balls and I do actually have a tutorial on this again in the iCard. Make sure you guys go check it out. These do bounce quite good um, and they're super super cool to make. Especially if you're a beginner with rain balloons. So yeah, these are my original designs um, and they're so cool. An orange banana. A horse which is really cool because it's pink and it has a rainbow mane. A ball with just a bunch of rain balloon bands um, threaded on top of each other. A little raccoon which is super cute. I have this a super cute bow. And last but not least a cute little lemon. And now with that done we can now move on to the last section of this creation collection and that is my bracelets. Firstly I have this butterfly bracelet. I have this twisted bracelet which is my original tutorial so go click the iCard again um, if you want to make it. I have this inverted fishtail bracelet which is one of my favourites. I have this um, double fishtail bracelet. I have the rainbow snake bracelet which is my own tutorial. Again, if you want to make it, it's in the iCard. Um, it's super cute and I really recommend to make this adorable bracelet. Hexafish bracelet. 
a really cool fishtail with like a little um, outside bit to it. I don't know what these are called. Keep in mind that I'm super bad with bracelet names. I have a Starburst bracelet which is super pretty. I have no idea what this bracelet is called. Maybe like the dragon scale? No, definitely not. And I have this bracelet which is kind of falling apart a little bit but it used to look just like this. I have another bracelet similar to that. And also two triple um, fishtail bracelets. I have a triple chain bracelet. Another Starburst bracelet, the Caterpillar bracelet, a fishtail bracelet, a really long um, fishtail bracelet, and once again another fishtail bracelet, a blue chain bracelet, a ladder bracelet, a Chinese chap bracelet. I have no idea what sort of bracelet this is, but it's from Justin's Toys, so this bracelet. I have another few um, Starburst bracelets, a ring bracelet with a bunch of bands on the outside, another rainbow snake bracelet. A triple chain bracelet, a fishbone bracelet, a ribbon bracelet, another butterfly bracelet, one of these bracelets, I have no idea what it's called, another twisted bracelet, a super duper long um, Starburst bracelet, this is one of my favourite creations, it's just super super cool and I love it so much. I have this ring necklace which has a lot of um, bands on the outside. And last but certainly not least, this really cute hexafish bracelet. So these are all my creations guys, look at how many there are, there's so so many, but this brings me to the end of the video, thank you so so much for watching all throughout the video, it really means the world to me, but make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to become a part of the Luma Squad, and also share this video with as many people as you can so we can promote looming in 2021. Anyways, keep looming guys, and I love you guys so so much, happy new year, and I hope to see you in one of my next looming videos. Bye guys!